he continues to open up for Ozeki ranked Mongolian Asa Shoryu to win the Basho, the cup, and 10 million yen. He's Yotsusumo. Yotsusumo is regarded as the classical style. The uh, sumo elders much prefer their wrestlers to win on the belt. Now, this is the man who's uh, causing a lot of excitement in Japan, steadily scoring each Basho around the 11 or 12 mark. Recently promoted to Ozeki. Hasn't won a tournament yet. It's only a lightweight, 137 kilos. Well, there, he looked like he was on the run there. Tosanoumi charged into him, got him moving backwards. And then Asa Shoryu just shrugged him off and slapped him down. So it's Kiyotoshi win there for Asa Shoryu. Asa Shoryu, incidentally, won the two one-day uh, knockout tournaments that were held uh, here in Japan. Uh, end of September and early October. Now we have two Mongolians, Asa Shoryu against uh, Kyoku Tenho. Kyoku Tenho, very tall wrestler, uses his height very effectively. Asa Shoryu, though, very focused and very fast and really full of fighting spirit. Hates, hates losing. You see the two of them going through the series of crouch downs. Four minutes of ritual that precedes the actual fighting. Asa Shoryu at 137 kilos, some 10, 11 kilos lighter than Kyoku Tenho. But I suspect it's going to be the fierceness of Asa Shoryu's charge and his uh, arm work that's going to uh, pay off. Well, a slowish start by Asa Shoryu. Kyoku Tenho took the advantage there, but it's Kyoku Tenho who collapsed. And it's uh, Asa Shoryu who takes the win. Well, that was fast and furious after a somewhat slowish start by Asa Shoryu. And there he takes some prize money. Some Kensho. So let's watch that one again. Unusually, Asa Shoryu went uh, just straight for the belt. But then he uh, bangs in with the head. But Kyoko Tenho briefly for a moment seems to have the advantage, but then it's the grip on the belt in the front that Kyoko Tenho... So second win for Kodomitsuki, first loss for Musoyama. Now Asa Shoryu, 137 kilos, quite light, he's trying to get up, so trying to put on weight. Nickname is the Green Wolf, green to symbolize the... Uh, the plains of Mongolia. He beats Hokuto Riki there without too much trouble. Straightforward Yorikiri win. And that was Hokuto Riki's third straight loss. Third straight win for Asa Shoryu, the Green Wolf. Third loss. 10-11 mark. But he's not looking quite his uh, normal self. Now we have Green Wolf. Asa Shoryu against High and noble, or young and noble, I should say, Takanawaka. That's what their names mean. These two have fought nine times. Asa Shoryu has won eight of them. So the odds are on the Green Wolf to take this one. And it's fast and furious. Takanawaka's uh, been on good form this basho, but look at the uh, ferocity of the uh, Mongolian there. Kept those violent, aggressive movements up right to the end and forced Takanawaka over with Yorikiri. Well, that's uh, at this early stage of the Basho. Now, Asa Shoryu fights Tamaka Suga. Asa Shoryu apparently has uh, been eating ostrich eggs. It's part of his uh, dietary uh, supplements. Asa Shoryu, 137 kilos, Tamaka Suga. On the right, 153. A close start. As I show you, driving forward the whole time. And it's uh, Tamaka Suga who appeared to skid off there. I don't know if, uh, couldn't quite see if As I show you assisted him there, but uh, certainly had the uh, Tamaka Suga moving backwards. And it's Tamaka Suga who's trying to drive uh, As I show you his arms up from underneath. Oh, yeah, that's it. You can see his uh, right arm misses Asa Shoryu, and that uh, turns him round. So a rather pleased expression on Asa Shoryu's face 
as Tamakasuga drops past him. So five straight wins for the ostrich appears to be fairly bad and he's dropped out. Now this is uh, going to be an interesting one. We have Mongolian Asa Shoryu. Now you can see that really wide stance of Asa Shoryu's leg doesn't go too high though on the shiko, the stamp. Well, there's some local artwork from the kids there. That's for Takano Nami. Takano Nami uh, said uh, earlier in an interview that it's important not to lose courage in sumo. So this is... Uh, he faces here some punishment. Certainly Asa Shoryu has handed out a lot of it in recent basho. Well, moment of hesitation there for Takano Nami. He didn't feel like starting there by the look of it. That's a sure you're not too uh, fussed about that. He can't wait to get uh, into the fight, I would imagine. But Takano Nami does a slightly uh, different start there, but there's a very neat move there. That's a sure you gets his knee behind Takano Nami and just pops him over, stumbles him backwards with a Kirikaishi move. Very quickly done. Takano Nami tried a slightly different move at the uh, touchy eye there. He uh, twisted round to one side as he came out. But uh, I'm so sure he wasn't uh, tricked by that one. Let's watch this one again. Well, there's that twisting move. You can see Takano Nami trying to get the arms, but uh, there's the leg behind, right behind the knee. It's maintained there, and Takano Nami takes a tumble. Six straight wins for Asa Shoryu. And second loss for Takanonami. On one loss, he's uh, up near the leaders. This is the leader, Mongolian Asa Shoryu, with six straight wins. He's fighting Miyabiyama. Well, these two have fought uh, seven times in the past. Asa Shoryu's won five of them. There you see the Shikinashi, the crouch downs. Goes for a long ritual of this. They're allowed, these top wrestlers are allowed four minutes. The lower ranked wrestlers have less and less time and um, which uh, to do these crouch downs. Crouch, they stare at, stare at each other out. Yobidashi wander around the ring, sweep it, and then gradually comes the moment of truth. And here it is, Miyabiyama. Well, Miyabiyama looked as though he had uh, Asa Shoryu on the brink there. But a very swift movement right at the end, right on the edge. Ducked out of the way, pirouetted round, and Miyabiyama went flying. Well, that was very neatly done. He's a very nimble wrestler, is Asa Shoryu. Certainly looked like he was uh, about to go over the edge. So at the end of uh, day seven, we have uh, Asa Shoryu still in the lead with seven straight wins. Behind him, Akinoshima and Musoyama with six wins and one loss. And then a large uh, group of wrestlers, including Period, used to get tremendous uh, applause from the crowd. He did virtually the same thing every time he came in the ring. So now we have Asa Shoryu. Well, this could uh, be a good one against Takami Sakari. They fought twice before. Asa Shoryu on the left there won both encounters. Takami Sakari is strong, he's unusual, but he's not as fierce as Asa Shoryu. And this Mongolian just recently went through a phase where he really handed out some stick. He was slapped the face, go for the throat. And you can see uh, Takami Sakari psyching himself up there. Well, he does it virtually every time, but he knows he's got a tough bout. Interesting to see whether Asa Shoryu goes for the slaps and the thrusts of the face, top half of the body. I suspect he seems to have backed away from that recently and just going for the belt and he's good on the belt as well as the open type sumo well he's going for the throat there throat again more slaps more pushes well he certainly disposes of Takami Sakari no problem there so that's Asa Shoryu reverting to his old and let's watch that one again very relaxed face when he comes out here goes for the throat straight away pushes the shoulder goes for the throat again Another one to the throat, or under the chin really, throat, chin, it's all the same. Then a huge shove as Takami Sakari goes sideways on and that skids him over. And 
he deals with Takami Sakari a short shrift so Skidash and that was a win for Tama Kasuga his first win incidentally in this tournament now we have Mongolian Asa Shoryu eight straight wins the way ahead of him seems to be clearing Chio Taikai's out so it's all up for grabs he's fighting Gojiro they never fought before Gojiro some 20 kilos heavier than Asa Shoryu but he's had a long spell in the Juryo division there's that leg behind well there's a skillful wrestler is Asa Shoryu we've seen that move before he hooks the leg around the back then he plants it firmly on the ground and then he just tilts them backwards let's watch again there goes the leg around the back planted on the ground and then bang over goes 157 kilos that's uh, 352 pound body weight some 25 uh, stone or so so at the end of uh, day nine you can see the leader there asa shoryu with uh, nine straight wins behind him takananami with 7-2 and akinoshima with 7-2 Still a chance for Takanonami or Akinoshima to come through, but it's uh, shaping up for us, I assure you. Here's the man leading the pack. Well, thank you for joining us. We'll be back soon with days 10, 11. And now, look at all that money. Each one of those banners represents uh, money that the wrestler will collect at the end. It's between Asa Shoryu and Shimotori. Asa Shoryu on the left. Shimotori, 147 kilos. Asa Shoryu. Uh, Mia 137, definitely lightweight uh, wrestler, the lower end of the scale. There again, Chiona Fuji was not that heavy and he uh, absolutely dominated for a long time. Well, I'm so sure he really burns to win. Low crouch, Shimatori slightly uh, slow off the mark. Shima Asashori locks in tight. Shimotori and they both crashed down together well it looked to me like Asa Shoryu got that one but it was very close so neither wrestler sure who's got it they're both looking at the judge well the referee gave it to Asa Shoryu but there's been an objection well let's uh, watch that one again let's see who does crash down first and well yes I think Asa Shoryu's arm just touched down No, they say it was, uh, they fell at the same time. So it's going to be a Torinoshi. That's a rematch. So there's uh, Konishki again with his fans. And those fans were shouting for Shimotori. Well, let's see what happens on this rematch. So Shimotori uh, comes across the gap a lot faster. There's Asa Shuri who gets a hand on the belt, and then that's it. Shimotori's legs skidded wide. And with a little bit of assistance on the belt, he skidded down with Uate Dashinagi's throw. So Asa Shuryu racks up his 10th straight win. Well, there's a lot of uh, excitement now, as it looks like this uh, Mongolian could come through to win the Basho. Well, he's powerful on the belt, and he's powerful whether he's with uh, 10 straight wins, no losses. Here he is. Behind him, Akinoshima with eight wins and two losses. And then, clutch of wrestlers with seven wins and three losses, including Dejima, Iwakiyama, Takanowaka, Takanonami, and Musoyama. All theoretically uh, capable of coming through and winning the Yusho, the Emperor's Cup. all the time and he's comfortable with it it's good whether the sumo stays open with the pushes and the shoves or whether it's on the belt here fighting touching another now as i has got 10 straight wins no losses touching another's got five wins five losses but touching another has beaten uh, a lot of uh, yokozuna in the past and ozeki so he's got a bit of a reputation as a giant killer so let's see how as plays this one so very careful penultimate touchdown oh, there's a lot of determination now in the green wolf's face oh, 
And when you see the uh, fighting spirit in this Mongolian, you can understand how the Mongolians got up to the gates of Vienna nearly a thousand years ago, ferocious fighters. Well, a slow start by Asashiro. Comes out low, but he's not really getting it going. He's trying the pushes and the slash, but he gets shoved out. Well, there was indecision there, and Tochinonada took advantage of it. Tochinonada couldn't work out. Uh, sorry, Asashiro couldn't work out a game plan. It seemed to show, and it was uh, Tochinonada who took advantage of that. So that's another Ozeki. But still, it's only uh, his first loss for Asa Shoryu. He's still uh, comfortably in the lead ahead of his nearest rival with two wins. Let's watch that one again. So slowish start, comes out low, doesn't really go for the face, which he, in the past he's pretty good at, and then belatedly gets into the slaps and the pushes, and then it's too late because... Uh, touch now, Asa Shoryu... Well, he's, at, uh, he's got 10 wins and one loss. Nearest rivals to him. Oh, a couple of losses behind, three losses behind. So he needs this one, and then he needs one more win among the last three remaining matches, which I would put money on that he'll get. But uh, let's see. Well, here we go. So Asa Shoryu against Kodomiski, they fought nine times. Kodomiski's won six of them. Asa Shoryu's gained in power and confidence. Well, Kodomiski's got a game plan. He'll try something clever, but I suspect the brute force, the horsepower of Asa Shoryu will triumph. But let's see. Well, Kodomiski comes out faster, and it's Asa Shoryu who sits on the belt. And look at the power there. I mean, he's much lighter than Kodomitsky. He gets that overarm grip and he just fires off that throw that dumps Kodomitsky. It's Kodomitsky, the man who won a tournament not so long ago, just pops him over with a single heave. Takes a lot of power to do that. And Asa Shoryu still in the lead with 11 wins and one loss. So there, from the opening, gets that hand on the belt. And then from there, here it goes, that big overarm grip and throw. And Kolomitsky dumps for Shimotori. Well, there we go. The end of day 12. Asa Shoryu in the lead with 11 wins and one loss behind him. Takanonami, Musoyama, Takanowaka, Toki, Aminishki, Kotonowaka, Dejimani, Wakiyama with eight wins and four losses. He just needs one more win to guarantee the Yusho. Well, thank you for joining us. We'll be back soon with the last three days of the Basho. A few sleeve for the absence of Yokozuna's Takanohana, Masashi Maru, and Ozeki's Kayo and Chiyo Taika. In fact, he said they have betrayed the expectations of their sumo fans by not participating. There were even some fans who demanded their money back, money back so with nine wins and four losses. So this is the match that all have been waiting for. Asashori you needs only one win either this match or the next two matches it's three days to go and if he gets it that will be his uh, first you show first victory tournament victory total victory now he's fought uh, Wakano Sato nine times he's beaten uh, Wakano Sato four times but Wakano Sato has won their last two encounters but Wakano Sato is distinctly off uh, his form this uh, this basho He's only got six wins so far. His sumo's not uh, clicking. He's lost his ring sense a little bit. And uh, Asashori was on a ride. So it's interesting to see how he'll do it. Will he come out uh, going for the face and upper body? We know he's got some very uh, stinging hard slap attacks to the face, throat thrusts, etc. Can really pile it on when he wants to. So there, it doesn't go for the slaps. He goes straight for the belt. But uh, Wakano Sato is somewhat stronger than him in this position. But he's got uh, one of his grips on. He's got his left arm on, on the belt, just on the other side. Tries uh, the overarm grip there, tries the Kime hold, gets pushed back to the edge. Well, it's uh, Wakano Sato's closing him off a bit. But there's a leg hook. We've seen him do uh, beat some big men with that before, and that's it. He's got the victory. That's his 12th win. And now he's guaranteed the Yusho. The tournament victory, the Emperor's Cup, and 10 million yen. So, 
First time for a Mongolian wrestler to win the tournament. Fantastic achievement. 12 wins with only one loss. And the tournament's in the bag with still another two days to go. Well, there you see the crowd, very appreciative. Chucking their uh, cushions. Zabutan in the air. And uh, this uh, young man is only 22 years old. He's got to this... Uh, position here winning the tournament in only 24 tournaments from start which is a six a year is four years of sumo from the beginning to winning a tournament well let's see this one again tries to turn um, Wakano Sato over there but it's fairly relaxed he's got his left arm on then switches arms goes for the other arm then locks in again you can see him reaching for the belt all the time he's testing the weight. Uh, Wakano Sato tries a lift there, but then that gives a chance for Asashori to hook his leg round the back. Sodogake. And tumbles him to the ground. Stay with us, we'll be back very shortly. There you see the uh, bouts written up. Well, here's the tournament winner. Already, Asa Shoryu. He fights Tochiozuma. They've met uh, seven times previously. Tochiozuma's beaten him four times. Asa Shoryu at 137 kilos. Tochiozuma, some 11 kilos heavier at 148. But uh, Tochiozuma's got uh, a bad shoulder. He rested out the last basho because of his uh, shoulder. And although he doesn't... Uh, seem to be suffering from the so shoulder injury particularly in this basho he's not having a, a very good one Azo Zeki has only got eight wins so far he's got five losses that's uh, below par so a head banging start there and it's Tochiazuma driving hard uh, Asashori to the edge but Asashori is fighting back he stepped up the pace of the uh, counter attacks catches the belt and pushes Tochiazuma down so that's it that's the 13th win for Asashori as far as uh, this tournament goes, that's an outstanding result for him, which will be considered if his next tournament is similarly outstanding. It's quite a hard-fought hard, uh, hard fought, uh, tournament, this, a lot of pushes and slaps, and in the middle of all that, I'm so sure you feet. So a reasonable result after returning from a one basho absence. Well, those are the banners that indicate the number of little uh, money envelopes that will be on the uh, Gyoji, the referee's fan, at the end of this match. And here's Asa Shoryu. He's uh, fought Musayama eight times. He's won five. Musayama out to uphold the honor of Japanese Rikishi, no doubt. He's some 40 kilos, 35 kilos heavier than Asa Shoryu. Looks for the body hold, and look at that. It looked to me like Musayama hurt his shoulder there, but they locked in tight, separated slightly, and was single arm thrust from Asa Shoryu sent him over the edge, almost on the rebound. But what a fantastic uh, basho it's been for this young Mongolian. But there's a bundle of envelopes uh, for him. There's his family, his father and mother from Mongolia, sitting in the audience, being congratulated by the audience for their son's uh, outstanding achievement. There we are at the end of day 15. Asa Shoryu takes the, uh, the Yusho, the win. Prizes, only fighting spirit prizes go to Takanonami Iwakiyama and Takanowaka. No other prizes were given since no wrestlers qualified for it. The jury o winner was Kasuga O for those interested in the lower results. And Makushita winner was Dewa no Fuji. Well, it's been a good basho. It's certainly good to see this uh, young Mongolian come through. He's got the fire and determination that some of these uh, Japanese uh, rikishi seem to have lost. No doubt uh, that will uh, fire them up to try a bit harder. And here he comes up for the Shihai, the Emperor's Cup, which will be handed over to him by the Rijicho, the head of the Sumo Association, Nihon Sumo Kyokai, Kitano Umi of great uh, Yokozuna in the past there's Asa Shoryu's parents greeting him in the preparation room the Shitakubeya
Well, this is the first time a Mongolian has won a Basho in Japan. There's a tremendous interest in Mongolia itself. There's even more Mongolians coming into uh, Japanese uh, pro sumo now. Just uh, the recent batch that came in this Basho included uh, three Mongolians. So they're all fired up by their uh, heroes' wins. And, of course, the, uh, the man who started it all, Kyoku Shuzang, and uh, the other Mongolians that uh, came in with him. Well, this is the victory parade. And it's, uh, it's Asashoryu flanked by fellow stablemate from Takasago Stable. In the car there, the open car in Fukuoka. Well, thank you for joining us. We'll be back soon with the next Basho in the new year. Bye from me, Sid Hoare in Japan. Take care and sayonara.